Hey guys, on this video, I'm going to show you how I pin and sew a bodice, top part of a blouse. Um, right now, I'm just pinning the front part of the bodice for the blouse. And I'm going to do that to the other front part of the blouse. And what I've done is also use two layers of the organza fabric because it's actually quite transparent and it actually looks kind of nice with, um, with double layers. So there I'm showing you two layers. And now that is the back part. So I'm just going to, I'm pinning the shoulder the shoulder part and the back shoulder and the front part of the bodice. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. On the next video, I'm going to show you how I did this gathered bottom part of the blouse. What well, it makes it look like a peplum, a little a bit of a, more of extreme and you can watch the next video and find out how i did the bottom part of this blouse please subscribe to the channel for more sewing projects that i do and especially for the journey that i take in making my clients outfits uh, please subscribe like thank you for watching Hey guys, on this video, I'm going to show you how to do the bottom part of the peplum blouse. So, right there is the bottom part of the peplum blouse. I was just joining the two panels together. And right now, I'm just doing the gathers. I'm gathering the fabric together as I sew. Um, this is a just a um, simple, basic mm -hmm stretch straight stitch and this will create the volume um, at the waistline um, on the peplum the peplum blouse and I'm done with the bottom part of the blouse there is. On the next video you see how I sewed on the horse braid at the bottom of the peplum um, blouse. So the bottom part of the blouse that creates the volume um, on the bottom edge um, I've sewn on a black horse braid and I'm going to show you how I sew it on and how it creates this dramatic effect. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, on this video, I'm going to show you how I join together the horse braid onto the gathered bottom of the blouse so there's prudence she's pinning on the horse braid to the edge of the the bottom part of the blouse so she's gonna do that throughout um the whole bottom part and after that i'm going to sew it and then we're going to flip it over and I'm going to sew it again on the other side.
so she's done pinning it and that's how it will look so right now i'm just going to stitch close to the edge maybe leaving a space of half an inch so i'm gonna stitch that and then once i'm done i'm gonna flip flip the whole spread over and then i'm gonna stitch it onto the other side so this will create that um volume as you can see here i've already flipped it over i've stitched it on the other side i've closed it so i'm just taking the top part of the shirt the bodice and i'm pinning it i'm joining it with the bottom part of the blouse which is the peplum so i'm just gonna pin that together and then once i'm done i'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and there it is that's, that's how it hey guys welcome back to my channel um right now it's part four of making the puffy blouse so i'm just pinning on the front part of the blouse um the edge and i'm going to pin along from the front to the collar and to the other side once i'm done with that i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and close it up This is the pattern. Okay. I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and I'm gonna add on gathers on the top part of the the sleeve, the area where the shoulder will normally be allocated. So I'm gonna add a little bit of gathers, not too much. Where it'll look like that. And I'm just gonna do the other sleeve, add some gathers to the top part of the sleeve shoulder. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to start pinning the side seams of the sleeve. I'm going to do it with the first one and the second sleeve. Then I'm going to make a straight stitch. As well as make a straight stitch on the other sleeve. After I'm going to take the two sleeves and place them on the overlocker you 
you can see here I'm done with the sleeves I'm going to join them onto the sleeve hole I'm gonna pin them inside I've turned the shirt inside out and it makes it easier to pin in the sleeve into the sleeve hole And here I'm just going to sew together the sleeve with the sleeve hole. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to take it into the over locker and make a stitch so it can secure the edges of the fabric. This is part 4 of the video, I'll post the next part where I'll put in the cups.
this is how the final blouse looks please subscribe follow me on caravilla design